Yeah, thank you for having me. I think the the main objective for sure is the Olympic. It's uh, once every four years. Well, now there was actually even an extra year, so it's maybe the biggest the biggest race in short distance triathlon. So, yeah, for sure that's the main focus of this year. Yeah, I mean, I really believe that I can can do a podium. I was sixth last time, so I want for sure to do better than that. And yeah, three of those five places are on the podium, so it's for sure my goal. Um, I think, yeah, rank ranking wise uh, with the athletes, for sure right now Vincent is, is the big favorite, um, and I think I think though he's the only one that right now it's um, kind of above everyone else and that I think he will be for sure very hard to beat. Not impossible, but very, very hard. Um, and I think under under Vince, there is a lot of a uh, lot of other candidates. And I think I, I'm going to have to battle with all those guys for uh, for the medals as well. So but yeah, obviously, I still want to take the gold medal as well. But uh, I think right now, Vincent is, is very, very strong. And under that, I think we, we can almost name 10 guys that have a chance for the other medals, I think. And yeah, I feel like I'm I'm part of that, yes. Mm, my favorite for the Women's Olympic. Well, I'm gonna have to go with uh, with our own squad, Katie Zafiris then. Um, she, uh, she's super, super strong. I think she's uh, over the three disciplines, maybe, maybe the strongest of the past years. And um, I think, yeah, she can do really well in a one day race as well. And, and she's had some, some up and downs, like also outside of the sport recently. So I, I really hope for her that she can, uh, she can turn it around and, um, and yeah, really, really go for, uh, for gold in uh, Tokyo. Well, I think my favorite workout partner, that's hard to say, but uh, I'm for sure uh, very close with Yala Gaines, the other Belgian guy. Um, we are actually rooming together. Usually now we have an apartment together, um, but it's super hard to choose. I think the overall atmosphere is super good. And between all the, all the boys and girls, we are super good friends. Uh, on race day, we will be uh, very hard competitors of each other as well. But yeah, in training, I can't remember the last time we, we argued or fought on a training. Yeah, we're just really good friends first. And on race day, obviously, we're competitors as well. Maybe my favorite moment still, it's uh, when I won. Um, the It's a European Cup only but um it was in my hometown in Rustwezel. it's a super small town uh, and yeah all the people there are super proud of my performances and uh, but the problem is yeah triathlon is super international so most of them have never been able to see me compete so to win a race in front of uh, of all my friends and all the people that support me was truly amazing and especially adding to that was that uh, i just came back from probably one of the the baddest injuries I've had in my career uh, a, a fracture in my pelvis uh, so yeah those extra factors make that maybe it seems like a small race only the European Cup but for me it's still the the memory I, I yeah like the most for me the the, the favorite discipline it's biking um, and then I think yeah, what I what I really well, I really like long riding as well, but that's not, in my opinion, it's not so hard. Um, so I will go with a, with a chain gang on the bike. So when we're just in a group rotating, like yeah, they do in a in professional cyclists do in the peloton, and just for one hour straight rotating, and yeah, I, I love that. I love just making myself hurt on the bike and yeah i also like to <laughs> make the others hurt on the bike so <laughs> yeah those those rides with uh, with hard effort scene that's that's what i really love no for sure it's something i'm interested in um just before covid hit i did my first half distance and yeah that went pretty well i won the 70.3 in china which made me also qualify for 70.3 worlds and for sure, the next couple of years, um, I'm going to try to combine 
70.3 racing with ITU, like you've seen uh, many of the other strong guys doing now, like the, the Norwegians are doing it, Elser Brownlee, Gomez, um, well, and some of some of them like Jan and stuff, they, they already are at the full Ironman. But I think I need some more years for the full Ironman, but even on the short term, uh, I think I'm gonna put more and more the focus on on 70.3 and yeah, later on long distance racing as well. I've been in, in the sport for quite a bit now and I, I've known the, the, the last generation of Frenchies as well, like the, the one from around 2010 with, uh, with well, Laurent Vidal, uh, David Haas, um, who else were there? There are a couple of other names. I mean, they were good, but they were maybe not on the level that uh, that uh, your boys are now. And I think, yeah, especially the girls that you have now, they are they are super super strong. And I'm not sure if uh, France ever had that, at least not since since I'm following a triathlon. So yeah, you guys having that combination of of well, <laughs> probably even four guys right now that are top ten in the world. And uh, uh, also girls that are that are top ten in the world or close to that, yeah, that's that's amazing for you uh, because of the relay that's going on now, and for sure France is the the biggest favorite there. Um, but yeah, I think the most difficult thing for for your country is gonna be to choose who can go to the Olympics because yeah, one of those four boys who are maybe all capable of doing a top ten at the Olympics. He's gonna have to stay home, uh, so I think you really have a luxury problem uh, because the the boys and also the girls are just yeah super super strong. Yeah, going into cycling in Belgium, it's it's probably one of the closest countries where it is to to soccer. Uh, I th I think being a cyclist, you're almost as much of a star or a celebrity as being a soccer player in Belgium. Um, and I think that culture definitely helps and uh, specifically for the triathlon as well. We've had, for a small country, we've had quite a lot of success in the past uh, on, on Hawaii with uh, Luke van Leerde or uh, also yeah, some, other, some other really big names uh, like Rutger Beke came second, um, Frederick van Leerde won, then now Bart Arnauts came second as well. So we've had a lot of success and I think that's, yeah, that really builds up a culture and builds up that young people also uh, want to get into the sport and think it's cool and I think like that you keep feeding on the good performances and you start to get really yeah, uh, a triathlon, a strong triathlon country for especially for the size. A burger, that's easy. Bye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna choose both of them. Uh, it really depends from day to day, actually. But my, my current favorite, but probably in a week it's gonna be different. It's uh, called Gosha. So G O S H A. Uh, yeah, by Snot. That's the name of the artist. Yeah, just get out there and have fun and um, try to let the elements make you stronger, um, like wind, rain or, or mountains or hills. That's where you have to go to get stronger in the beginning, um, like a long ride in the hills. That's where you're going to get stronger. You don't necessarily have to do crazy intervals. It's better to yeah, just build the fitness, get strong by doing naturally doing hills or, or doing, yeah longer runs and stuff like that and build it slowly up yeah thank you for interviewing me